turn to Luke 127, where and I even hmm. I know I'm, for those that have ever heard me, I'm long winded, so I'm going to try to do this. Come on, let me do it. And uh, my scripture was Luke 1 and 27. To a version from verse 26, and, uh, and in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, mm. to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. It was declared long before Mary and Joseph came along. I, I initially started off saying God will declare a thing, and then he will actually bring about that thing, cause that thing to, to come about. And, and Micah 5 and 2 it was prophesied Jesus' birth. But thou Bethlehem, Ephraim, thou, though thou be little among thousands of Judah, yet out of it shall he come forth unto me, that is to be ruler, to be ruler in Israel, whose born forth has been from of old and from everlasting. It was prophesied in, in Micah uh, five and two that Jesus would come out of Bethlehem. And that and God, Mary and Joseph was not an accident. God declared it in Micah that Jesus would come out of Bethlehem. So God set things in order so that Mary and Joseph would actually be in a place when the time of fulfillment would come so that they would be where he had already declared that Jesus was going to come from. They, he set things in motion so that they would be in the place. So Mary was a virgin. A virgin being that she was a mature age. She was married. She was a married age, but she was not had yet not been with a man. So therefore, she, she was espoused to Joseph. She was actually already engaged to him. But she was not married to him. She had never been with a man. And Joseph, the word of God says that that Joseph was from the lineage of David. Mm -hmm. So this scripture here, verse um, one twenty-seven, had already been prophesied. That and so my point to to everybody here is that if God has spoken a word over your life, yeah. mm -hmm. don't Mary was saying, well, who am I? You know, Mary was, it was out of Nazareth. It was a little old place, insignificant place. She was a virgin. She was very, she, she wasn't very, uh, she, you know, 1 Corinthians, uh, I think it's 1 Corinthians uh, 127 says, God used the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And so God will use the foolish things. Mary was of the insignificant. Joseph was of insignificant. Nazareth was all insignificant, but mm -hmm. God used the foolish things mm -hmm. to confound the wise. Okay. But he, he took a little virgin girl and and she and took a, a man from Nazareth from a little insignificant town and he did great things with oh, them. Yeah. So so yeah. so if God the, the word of encouragement to, to women and to everybody today, if God has declared a word, he declared in life. That it was coming out of Nazareth, that Jesus was coming out of Nazareth, a little insignificant place, and that he would be from the from the household of David. So God set them, he, he had the tax thing to all come into play. Everything fell into play when the time was right, so that they could come, they could be in the place to fulfill the word. Yeah. That God had already declared long before Mary and Joseph were even conceived in the womb. So God will set things in motion. He will declare a word over your life. Yes. And he will begin to set things in motion so that he can bring about the word that he's already declared over you. So by word and encouragement to you, don't fear. Fear not. The angel said to Mary, fear not. Fear not. <laughs> you, have been, you, you have been blessed among women. And it wasn't that God just so much uh, decided, okay, I think I'm going to get her, use her, use him. 
God had already in the purpose that long before time mm. who was going who we was going to use and Mary's mother and Mary's father came together because Mary was in, Mary had to be where she was yes. she had to be who she was because God had already declared it to be so mm. so God began to bring the pieces together you know mm. Joseph was already of the household of David so mm -hmm. so Obadiah and all of them all the ones this one had to be get this one, this one had to be get that one, that one had to be get this one, because Joseph and Mary, who God had already chosen beforehand, mm -hmm. had to be in place when it was time for fulfillment. So be encouraged that whatever it is God has declared over your life, Talk about it. it is coming. Okay. You know, and he, he is able, much he is well able to send peace and play everything that you've gone through, everything mm. that you have have uh, been through, is part of getting you in the position that God needs you to be in to, yes. to bring about that which He's already declared over you. Amen.